What's up, Tintin's here today, and I'll be showing you guys how to use the plugin player screen made by 200 DVD. Quite the 100 DVDs he's got there. And what does this plugin do? You may ask yourself. What it does is that it's a perfect chat and command monitoring tool for admins. So, what does that mean? Well, what that means is players, pl players or admins can use this GUI to take a to see the log of the servers and it can log commands, chat, log in, log out, teleport, game mode, ch look at ch uh, game mode, change location, custom events with location, uh, complete server log and plugin messages and delete old log entries after a certain amount of days. And what does this client, this entire pictures you saw, feature? It can You can search players by IP or name, yeah, this. Uh, write an IP to the user field in the GUI and hit, hit it, and it shows the Minecraft username. So if you put the IP here, you can see the usernames of which ones. And there's a bug in front of me. I'm trying to... No, killed it. <laughs> uh, and in the search and commands or chat messages, so if people said stuff, you could search it. Yeah. You can search the commands and chat. Uh, you can get the command result if the player typed in a command that they did not have permission to. They can get the result of how it knocked out. Uh, and it you can sort it as username, date, or etc. I would preferably keep it on the date just to keep it up to date. <laughs> and you can select results in time span. You can click it. Yeah. And you can limit the SQL query, storage data, the login date log all that storage everything and it auto refreshes with the little auto refresh button auto reload so let's take a look at it so I'm in the server and yeah that's how that's and I did that break a couple of blocks oh well and I'm just gonna multiplayer direct connect local host and did that well as you can see I can auto re reload it and as you can see it reloads. As of now, I'm in creative mode. It says if I'm OP or not. Yes. Actions. I logged in and logged out. Chat. Test. That should pop up soon. And it said I said test. As you can see, that's very useful. This lists all the users, etc. commands. So this is a very good thing if you're going to log it. And if you do have MySQL. There you go. Everything. Well, I'm denied from access. Well, I can't do it now. <laughs> uh, so, uh, you can check all this up on the on MySQL, where it's mostly stored. And let's go over the config. As we go in the config, as you can see, you have the MySQL. And you have to write down your host, your port, the database name, the username, the password. And as you can see in the listener, you can have it log all this. And you can make it purge all this data after 60 days. So this is a very useful plugin, guys, especially for admins and owners or admins that goes to school. And if they need to check up on something or they're out or something and there was a problem, you can always refer back to the log, put it on timestamp mode, and just go right to it. So the wallet card I was explaining low percent it would do it, it would show anything with low like you know all these rest of it that's the wildcard system to it so it's pretty awesome you can make it say no anti kill farm wild that's all under event and if you do want it you can create your own log events dum dum so guys check it out uh it's very useful and if you do have a protocol Lib, you can create extra users only for query the logs. Only to query the logs. So guys, check it out. It's right on this link. I'll put a paste it down below. So see you guys next time.